Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to use the instance properties that are new in Inventor 2022. So here I have a very simple assembly. It's got multiple different components to it. Basically, there is a plate, and that, that plate is actually mirrored to create the upper one. There's some blades here, and there's some studs, and again, multiple different instances that are patterned or mirrored or whatever to kind of fill out the assembly. This may not be the most realistic example, but it is at least a way to show how to use these instance properties. So what I can do is I can select the upper plate here in my right click menu. You'll see down here closer to the bottom, I have eye properties and I have instance properties. The first time I went to do this, I thought, oh, I'll go to the eye properties, not in seeing that the instance properties command was there. So you do want to go to instance properties and you can see it basically looks like a custom property dialog box where I can name something here. I'll kind of just name this location and I'll give it a value of upper. I'll add that. I'll say OK. Repeat that process on the lower plate. Instance properties, location, value, we'll say lower. Add that, say OK. So let's just quickly look at the bomb and see what this looks like. So if I go to the build materials, you'll see that I still see the vein plate instance two. I'm on the structure, it's not really showing me anything different here. If I go to the model data, I do see each plate listed, each listed once. I don't see that instance location property. If I want to see that, I can hit this add custom eye property column and I can just here type location. This is, this has got to be the exact same way I spelled it, capitalization sensitive, all that other stuff. Say okay. Now you can see that I have upper and lower. If I go to my structure tab, you can see this location varies. I'd have to go to my part number row merge settings and then turn off the mer, merge rows on uh, part number match, say apply, and now I'm seeing them listed as separate. I can take that one step further by going to the drawing. I've already got my drawing set up. I've already got the parts list shown. You can see that I've got uh, vein plate, vein plate, but I don't have that property shown here either. I can edit my parts list go and add my column chooser, tell it to add a new property. Again, just type location like I did before. Say OK. Now location is going to be added. Say OK. Say OK. And now I've got that added as well. And I can even balloon these. So number one and number four, and there we go. Well, that's all for now. Hopefully you found this information helpful and something you can apply in the near future. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.